Jones, how are you going to find that statue and all this junk? Ciao Indiana e ciao a tutti, io sono Ol e questo è The Breakfast Bug. Oggi iniziamo un secondo let's play che andrà in contemporaneo con altri titoli e si tratta del let's play di un gioco classico molto vecchio ma che ha ancora il suo fascino e la sua difficoltà. E parliamo di Indiana Jones e eh, Atlantis, The Fate of Atlantis. Questa è la quarta avventura di Indiana Jones, viene dopo il, il primo gioco della LucasArts che è ispirato alla terza avventura di, di Indiana Jones, non è mai diventato un film purtroppo e anche se la trama, il plot di questo gioco sarebbe, è sicuramente meglio del, del film, del quarto film che hanno previsto ma non hanno mai girato, non è mai uscito e beh, eh, comunque ce lo giocheremo siamo Indy, questo qui anzi lui è Indy e si inizia subito io non mi ricordo un granché però ci lavoriamo Marcus still thinks this chest belonged to Columbus it's a copy of an Egyptian statue of Horus It's a stone carving of Shiva. Non credo si possa muovere l'omino con i tasti di direzione, quindi no. Poor Marcus. He thought this was a Maasai warrior. Questo è un guerriero Maasai. Hoppa! Uff! Ok, eh, come forse avete già intuito o sapete se avete giocato a questo gioco, il nostro caro Indy eh, sta vivendo l'intro narrativa e credo sia una delle... facciamolo. Bam. È una delle poche intro interattive dei giochi. Non ne hanno fatte molte, ed è notevole. Ok. Questa è la libreria. These books don't look familiar. Uh oh. Uh oh. <coughs> Povero Marcus. Better get that roof checked. E già, meglio controllare il piano. Il tetto. Looks pretty slippery. Andiamo, andiamo. Looks pretty slippery. Looks pretty slip. Looks pretty slippery. Cool, cool, cool. Conch. Looks pretty slippery. An imitation of bats, cat goddess of fertility. Qui poi torneremo in futuro. It's a greasy old towel. I'm not leaving without that statue. I'll be. Here's what I've been searching for. Strange looking thing. I wonder where Marcus picked it up.
I'm back. Indy? You don't look at all well, Dr. Clark. I know. Exploring our collections can be dangerous, Mr. Uh, what was your name again? Smith. Chapter. Tell me, did you find a lock to match my key? You bet I did. Take a look. What are you waiting for? Let's open it. Why not? It's an obvious fail. You may think so, Doctor, but I believe we are opening a new chapter in history. My word, India, a small metal bead. Jewelry, perhaps? I still think it's a faint. Then you won't mind if I take it. Really, Mr. Smith? Stand back, gentlemen. I hope you've got a getaway car waiting. You'll need one. Hmm. What is faint? Yes, sir. But we got his coat, Marcus. Hey, what's this? Klaus Kerner, huh? Good lord, Indy. The man's some sort of agent from the Third Reich. What of the spy one with the Buddhist statue? <sighs> I lied, Marcus. I don't think it's a phony. I can't place the style, but it's old. Look what else our friend was carrying. An old copy of National Archaeology. And there you are in Iceland. Yeah, field supervisor for the Jastro expedition. My first real job. Who's the woman? Sophia Hapgood. She was my assistant. A spoiled rich kid from Boston, rebelling against her family. Where is she now? She gave up archaeology to become a psychic. How odd. You can say that again. Indy, Kerner found you. What if he finds her? We should warn the woman. You're right. I want to know more about that statue. You know, Marcus, the coldest year of my life was the one I spent in Iceland with Sophia. Eccoci qua, di fatto il gioco inizia in questo momento e è una lunga intro per il tempo e come vi dicevo spero di ricordarmi le cose eh, pic. Pic. ok Ci possiamo trasformare allora dobbiamo andare a eh, parlare con sofia che è madame sofia qui e quindi dobbiamo entrare dal retro mm, it's già ok sono qui per ehm... Ok, sono qui per godermi le orazioni, i discorsi di Madame. Ok, cerchiamo di portarci il gorillone dalla nostra, se riusciamo. Lei è grandissima, ce lo facciamo amici. She is very smart. Yeah, she's okay. very smart. Smart, I'll say. You know what I really like? It's the way she 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 uh, vediamo un po'. Ok, rende le cose così facili da comprendere. Ok, 
all that smart stuff seems so easy when I'm listening to her. Say, you're okay for a college boy. Come on in. Perfetto. <coughs> Siamo amici. Ok, quindi... Sofia è lì, noi dobbiamo parlare con Sofia perché è, era presente, come avete visto, nel giornale Trovato dentro il giubbotto, la, il coat, il, il giacchetto del tedescone, del Terzo Reich e, Ok, vabbè Qui Scusami Aha! You must be the new doorman About time they got rid of Biff He was such a pushover No, non sono. Ok, I need to talk to... No. I want a reading with Miss Hapgood. Are you crazy? During the show? show. Write a letter. Excuse me. Think it easy and watch the show. Here, my friends, is Atlantis. As it might have appeared in its heyday. Glorious, prosperous, socially and technically advanced. Beyond our wildest dreams. 5,000 years ago, while everyone else still wore animal skin, the mighty spirits of Atlantis dared to build a city where knowledge and power were united in true happiness. Centuries later, the famous philosopher Plato wrote about it. He placed Atlantis on a continent out in the deep ocean and described how it was divided into three circular parts, such as you see here. You see still? something? She can go on for hours. I see. Dobbiamo interromperla. Vediamo se si può parlare ancora con eh, il gigione qua. Excuse me. Shh. She's just coming to the exciting part. What be okay. hell is serene city? We may never know for sure. Was it the sea level slowly creeping higher or the earth itself suddenly shifting? However it happened. Panic must have gripped the citizens. On that fateful day when proud Atlantis sank beneath the waves. It ended up to Or perhaps it was a volcanic eruption and something remains even now. On some questions, the great spirit who guides my thoughts, the all seeing Nurab Sal, is silent. Decisamente silenzioso. Eh lo so. Ok, diamo il giornale. Give newspaper. Excuse me. Vecchiaccio. Yeah, what now? I've got a newspaper here. So you do. Um. Aren't you wondering about events of the day? I don't know. Maybe. Maybe. How'd you like today's newspaper? Well, well, the late edition. Okay. I wonder if the Dodgers won. Watch the lights while I find out, okay? Ci penso io alle luci, non preoccuparti. Allora, dobbiamo spegnere le luci. Vediamo se mi ricordo. Prima la destra. It's a lever. Sì, premila. It's a lever. Push. Ok. Left. Dovrebbe diventare verde. Perfetto. Push the button. E così spegniamo le, eh, le luci e se non ricordo male... Abbiamo fatto? Push. Ok. And I still feel the presence of Atlantis through. Uh. May I present Nurab Sal, the great Atlantean god of. of. Deceit. Deceit. Thanks, Cindy. 
Indiana Jones? You got yeah. Go back, you big jack o' lantern. Mm. Oh, great. Good night, folks. Buonanotte. Dum, dum, dum. Come on, mister. I've got a few words to mince with you. I'd say it's about time. Andiamo a parlare con la mitica Sofia. Oh no! My god! Già. Stay put. No one here. Nor here either. Maledetto te de scaccio. Dr. Uberman, fantastic news. We found the treasure we seek. Che ha recuperato un altro cappotto. It's the second time Kerner slipped away. Sì. What does a Nazi spy want with old statues? Have you seen the newspaper? Listen to this. Germans claim victory in worldwide race to smash the uranium atom. Chief scientist Dr. Hans Uberman announces plan to harness new sources of energy for the Third Reich. Reich. So? So... Non troveranno mai abbastanza uranio. Of course not. That's why they're looking for the power of Atlantis. Be serious. I used to think you'd make a good scientist. You non è mai pubblicato nulla. Artifacts such as archaeology has never seen. Mm -hmm. You're lucky I don't have you arrested. So what if I kept a few pieces for myself? Look for a small coppery bead under those clippings in my desk. Vediamo un po'. What do you know? Kerner missed the grand prize. What? My necklace. Eh, sì. L'amuleto. The bead is made of auric calcum, the mystery metal first mentioned by Plato. Now I'll place it in the medallion's mouth. Did you see that? Yeah, creepy. Is your electric bill paid up? <laughs> that was Nurab Sal. His spirit is close. Closer than Atlantis, that's for sure. Suppose I gave this aura calcum business any credence, which I don't. Non abbiamo idea di dove trovare we have la tua no città idea where to find mitica. Your lost city. Shh. I'm getting something. Nurab Sal speaks. He bids us find the... What? A, a book, yes. The Lost Dialogue of Plato. Another fine myth. That book is a legendary hoax. What if the Nazis have already found a copy? You ever think of that? No, non ci crediamo. Hmm. You found this stuff in Iceland, right? Yes, near our old dig site. I thought so. Who's working there these days? Bjorn Heimdall, I believe. Maybe we should pay him a visit. What do you say? I thought you'd never ask. Pam, 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 pam. 
e direi che si concludono qui le nostre avventure in questo primo episodio con il volo verso l'Islanda siamo in una terra molto interessante salviamo la partita ok salvare è fondamentale indiana e vi saluto alla prossima